Okay, we are going to take a little walkthrough of the Smart Score system so that you can get a sense of how it can provide you with some meaningful feedback on how your student is progressing with certain skills throughout the course of the year. So when you log into the Smart Score system, you're going to see a page that looks generally like this. Um, you'll see the, the name of the school at the top and the school year. More information about the school just below. You'll see the name of your student and their grade. Um, and then you'll see the trimester number and the date that this um, information was updated, which you'll notice is uh, October 16th, which is today. So that should be updated on a daily basis so that the data is as accurate and timely as possible. The next thing down below here that you'll see is this collection of scores. What this is going to tell you is so far at this point in the year, how many scores does your student have at each of the levels of progress toward meeting the standard? So you'll notice here we have some scores of PP, which means progressing towards proficiency. So they are working toward meeting the standard, but aren't there yet. You'll notice there's a couple scores of EP, which we see down here in the key means expected progress. So again, not meeting um, the standard yet, but they're sort of, it's indicating that they're on track to meet the standard um, by the end of the year. Up here, we have scores of M, which indicate that they are meeting the standard, meeting proficiency in the standard. And then we have one score that is extending beyond proficiency. So not only are they able to do what the standard is asking of them, but they're also able to do some clear things that extend beyond that that are laid out in our rubrics, which we'll explore in a little bit. So this is just kind of giving you a sense of how many scores has this student received in each of those areas so far this year. So my student, Kermit Frog, has um, three progressing scores, two um, expected progress scores. There, he has demonstrated that he's meeting proficiency in two areas and then one place where he's extended beyond proficiency at this point. Just below that, um, you're going to get into uh, more detail about where are those scores coming up. So you'll see that we have our courses. So um, this particular student is enrolled in two courses right now, a humanities course of which I am also the teacher um, and a mathematics course, of which I am the teacher. And you'll see those same scores that we saw up above are now laid out under each of these courses so that you can see where is it, which subject areas is it where they're um, receiving these scores. So overall in humanities, Kermit has received two progressing, one expected progress, one meeting, and one extending. And in the math course, Kermit has received one progressing, one expected progress, and one meeting proficiency score. Um, so that just gives you a general overall sense of how the student is doing in those classes at the very top. Then we can dig into a little bit more um, in-depth information by looking at the individual standards that are listed under this course. So you'll notice right away that lots and lots of these areas have um, these little stars next to them. That just means that there's no information for that particular standard yet. It hasn't been assessed. So none of the assignments that are in the grading system uh, pertain to that particular standard. However, if you see one of our letter indicators here, then that'll tell you that this particular standard has been assessed and that's where your student is performing at in relation to that standard at this given time. So Kermit Frog um, has received some feedback on participation skills and right now he is making progress toward the standard but is has not met it yet. Um, also note that he is not making expected progress, so maybe he needs to um, focus a little bit more on that area so that he can kind of move himself forward, and we'll get into how he can do that a little bit later because we'll have more detail as we dig into individual assignments. So the overarching um, standard is at the top, so actively engage in class using effective student habits is the overarching standard, and then it's broken down into these kind of smaller buckets so that we can get a little bit um, better and more specific information about what does that actually mean in practice in our classes for our students. So the same thing down here, we have uh, an overarching standard that is identify and define the elements of plot structure in a story and differentiate between major and minor elements. So far, two out of the three 
um, areas of that standard have been measured and Kermit got a progressing towards proficiency score for one of them and a meeting proficiency in one of them. And so that's making progress, headed in the right direction, um, but has not yet met it. And so there's this little I here that indicates that um, this student is, is in progress towards um, meeting the standard and, and, and being assessed in meeting the standard, but has not reached it yet. Same thing down below here, in progress, shows that he's extending when it comes to summarizing, but these two scores have not, these two areas have not been scored yet, and so therefore we don't know whether or not he can do the overall standard of writing a summary of the text using main events and supporting details. So it's just meant to kind of give you information in these different layers, right? You have this general overall information, and then you get a little specific about which class does it pertain to, and then you get your standards, and then you get the sort of substandards, the, the what we call learning targets that make up the standard, and where is the student um, scoring in terms of their progress with each one of those things. And you'll notice it's the same over, over here in the math class, laid out the same way of having some things scored and some things not yet scored, and so therefore in progress. If I want to get even more information or more in-depth information, I can go into the individual class. But while I'm here, there are some other things that you can see <clears throat> up in the top right-hand corner here. For one thing, if you want to see your student's schedule, you can click on My Schedule. It'll show you all of the courses that they're enrolled in. So for this um, student, Kermit Frog, they're only enrolled in two courses. And then I can click the Back button to bring me back here. Um, I can switch between trimesters. Right now there's no information in for trimesters two or three because we're only in trimester one, but if you wanted to be able in the future to look back at where were they in trimester one versus trimester two and three as the year progresses, you can do that. There is a take a tour option that will take you to some uh, other videos that the Smart Ed folks have created for how to kind of navigate the system. You can click on PDF to get a printable version of this um, overall snapshot, learning snapshot. You can go to PowerSchool if you need to look at any information that's in PowerSchool, although there are no grades or scores of any kind in PowerSchool, and then to log out. 